Right, hello everybody, welcome to Blitz Pit number 8. We start with a Throne Rock, um, which takes out a Dwarf, KOing him. I'm Jimmy Ventura, and with me is Gorilla Metso. Hello, hello, and just like that, the Apo is out, and the stun guy staying on. Colian going all in on his offense here. Jim, what do you think about that call? Yes, I think that's a, a very good idea. You don't want to be outbashed by Dark Elves. He's got the reserve yeah. for any cars. Um, he absolutely, absolutely needs to not have people uh, KO. He's going to go for the surf. Sure is. He might get it here, too. He's got it. Well, the maybe. weakness. No, no. He's got the gym two-thirds of it. Let's see if he yeah. gets the final third. Yeah. And He's he does. It. Wow. Nice little turnaround there. And he stayed. <laughs> Good yeah. God almighty. I don't know if you can app with that, though. No, you cannot. No, absolutely not, no. All right. Well, what a wild start to this game. Thought we were going to have... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, Cape Folk will get a second oh, yes. shot in, uh, no, in the loser's bracket. In. <laughs> no, this is, this is far from over with somebody of PTK standing. But what a That's start it. for Coley in that go. rock. Would have tilted you a little bit, but he's made up for it, more than made up for it, with the ballsy surf. Yeah, the weakness, the weakness of the uh, of the what's it called offset LOS exposed oh, yeah, there. Yeah, um, tried to burn him. It did not work. <laughs> not in the slightest. Yep. Polian got a little lucky there, actually. That the uh, the rock, the guy that got hit by the rock, was on the far side. <laughs> yes. Yep. Yep. He was. Yep. And uh, thank you very much, Ordon uh, Kellis, for staying fantastic for forty three months, nearly eleven hoop beaver pregnancies. Absolutely glorious. So, if you're not familiar with Blitzpit, there is um, a thing here. There you go, there's the command. That's the stuff for the people in chat. For the people on YouTube, I'll link it under the description. Um, as you can see, there was a rule pack of like still skill stacking. So, Colin's gone for a protected runner here with Blodge. So, that's interesting, isn't it? No strip ball or tackle shenanigans on him from dancers. That seems a good a good idea to combat the war dancer menace that didn't doesn't exist. Um, he doesn't have any blitzers, which is a bit crazy, in my opinion. <laughs> I, agree. I agree. I didn't even notice that. Yikes. <laughs> yeah, and he's got some guard and uh, some mighty blow. I mean, it's, pre it's pretty good for beating up elves with the two mighty blows, but uh, I really do feel like if, if that troll slayer had been two blitzers and an extra guard, that it, the team would have been better. But, you know, Colian always seems to pull these weird off-meta builds, and he always does well with them, so, you know, fair play to him. Um, PTK has gone for some bludge step, some bludge tackle, some bludge guard, some dodge leader. The exact team he did, he do, he always does, but with the with the new rules build, right? Yes, yes, essentially, yeah, yeah. yeah bludge up the blitzers, and uh, and then lead uh, dodge up the runner and wrestle the witch. Yeah. So and if you crazy. haven't been paying uh, close attention to the Blitz Pit, this one's for all the marbles. This is your main tournament weekend, unless I'm completely high and mistaken. <laughs> nice. I'm, neither, I'm neither of those things right now. Uh, we have gone through three levels of qualifiers, two open qualifiers, and then a group phase to whittle down to the... How many people we got in this one? Yeah, 16. 16 the 16 final people competing for one thousand dollars in prizes spread out it's not just for the winner but this is um by far the most cream of the crop blood bowl uh tournament probably since the uh blood bowl 2 tournament i should say since uh the the world cup the ccl whatever you want to call it world cups that uh cyanide ran a couple would, years ago i would say this is the most cream of the crop blood bowl tournament anywhere on earth ever <laughs> Fair, fair enough. I mean, so the you definitely have the format, which is a little bit nitpicky for a lot of people, but the the quality of coaching in it is is going to be uh, just incomparable, really. Yeah, I think, um, I think because it's of, because it's an elite entry tournament. Yeah. But you don't see too many other blood bowl uh, <laughs> blood bowl based tournaments in both tabletop. Uh, or in video game format, giving out a thousand bucks worth of prizes. You certainly don't. It's very and, unless it's unless it's GW run and they're giving out miniatures, but that doesn't cost them a thousand dollars to give out. <laughs> <laughs> um, I wouldn't say best players ever, thing, but just best overall level, isn't it? That's the thing, right? It's not as if it's not as if everybody in here is a world beat or anything, but no, there's never been a tournament where 
every player was like completely the best. So as far as, as far yeah, as I mean that's going, the thing. Yeah, the World Cups had a very similar CCL style qualification where they were all good coaches. Like no, make no mistake, but the format did allow uh, for people to grind their way in if they needed to. Uh, and then when you go to the tabletop scene, then say what you will about that. Um, generally speaking, unless it's an invitational, you know, someone who just bought his miniatures a week ago could enter one of those. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> like maybe they've had a, a, an invitational on tabletop one time. I don't know, but yeah. this is probably the, the best. The best overall. It's. I mean, it's also just the easiest way to get the widest variety of quality coaches from around the world into one place. Like, very few people are going to fly halfway around the world for a, a Blood Bowl tournament. Yes, yeah, that's true. That is true. But PTK is one of them. He'll even move house to play a Blood Bowl. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fair enough. <laughs> So I didn't, he didn't like putting in the, I really didn't like blitzing with the trolls there last turn, and he has kind of not been able to hit with him this turn because of it, hasn't he? Meaning he, he could just go for the uh, Frenzy Trap. Two into one. But I was a little surprised. Yeah, I was a little surprised at how many uh, Dark Elves uh, K-Fog uh, left in contact at the end of last turn, actually. Yeah, it wasn't easy to do anything to him, was it? He's playing. Yeah. He's playing for like the turn after, and like now this is getting really stretched for Colleen, isn't it? Like, how does he protect the ball here? Yeah, absolutely. Very true. Well. Very good. Very good point. <laughs> hey, I, I'm a miniatures painter and a hobbyist too, Kales. Eddie. Uh, <laughs> no, I wasn't. I didn't mean that. I just meant like you could buy the box set to Blood Bowl, read the rules, and then just head down to a. Uh, uh, a NAF tournament, well, not during a pandemic, but <laughs> in most other happier years. <laughs> so yeah, he could 1D here, or he could 2D him. I mean, he's got all sorts of options, hasn't he, for how to, yeah. how to clear these guys in front. Oh, he's 2D. Like he's, he's going for that. Yeah. He's, got guns, he's going right he? in there, too. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's incredible. Now his guard's got to dodge out though against tackle if he wants the two D. Um, no, it's still one D. It's still one D. He can, he can, he can do things. He can, he can do things. Yeah. <laughs> no, I do say yeah. He can. Oh yeah, he can. Of course, he can just <laughs> do this. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So it looks like he's not going to try and crack the cage this turn, but he's gonna he's gonna isolate these four from the rest, I guess. Yeah, he's gonna both of his uh both of his uh troll slayers are gonna be wildly out of position if he can uh, close them off and split this team up. And that's exactly what he's doing. Oh, he's just gonna go for the max blocks. I think he probably shouldn't. PTK never won for the you know, always prioritizes position over max blocks. Oh, he's actually blitzing, okay then. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's pretty good. I was gonna say Colian is a max blocks kind of guy, <laughs> so so it makes sense to use his uh yeah okay I like the although he's not really separating them out I would have maybe would have maybe liked to isolate those four on the on the on the left a little bit more personally yeah me too I, I do like I would have liked to have, yeah screen to make it a little bit trickier because now he's given him the obvious. The obvious reconnecting route. I mean, now yep. he ends up with a stranded guard along yeah. the but that's Ab not so bad to be stranded. Absolutely. And it's come, but again, it's kind of like you said last turn. You know, uh, Kefo can can play for next turn now because to get everything linked up, he's still gonna have yeah, what two two guys probably uh, separated out, and that might create new opportunities for him. Yep. And yep. there you go. <laughs> yep. And uh, <laughs> and also, and it's a minute as well, right? So, so while yeah. while this may be the highest quality overall field that has ever been in a Blood Bowl tournament, uh, it's probably not going to be the highest overall level of play. Or, well, maybe, maybe it will be, but yeah, it probably will be still. But you know, they will make mistakes and stuff, being only having a minute. Like everybody will be more likely to make. No one will be playing at the best. That's what I was trying to say. <laughs> There you go. So he's actually not. He's going to strand. 
He's, oh god, yeah, he needed the power. Oh, I'm surprised. I'm surprised at PTK not keeping in contact, to be honest there. I would have liked to have kept him in contact and hit a guarder. And also, like, this makes it kind of easier. Okay, so I, that would have made it easier for Colin to cage up where he was standing. But he's not. He's, he's going to move around a little bit. I guess he's got the reinforcement to the guards, and now this guard hasn't been stranded. So now he wants to, I guess, reinforce the uh, Troll Slayer a bit to, like, keep everything all together. There's I like this stack of four guards in a perfect square yeah. in the middle of the field. It's dangerous, though, isn't it, for uh, for chains? That's the thing. This this can, this formation. Yeah, yeah, is, yeah. Like it's it looks funny. <laughs> that's more. That's more what I meant. I don't think yeah. it's entirely effective. <laughs> no, no, yeah, I, I knew that's what you meant, but um, yeah, this is because this corner can get can get chained down. And he's getting his uh, armor eight hit as well. He certainly is. Not effectively currently, but <laughs> there, we get there, we go. there we go. And now, and now, Cole, Eric, oh, now, Kfog. Oh, and he pays for it. Yeah, and Kfog can go right down the line now. Oh no, his guard's on the other side. I thought his guard was in the middle there. He needs the rotation ability, and then he could swap the uh, guard with the tackler <laughs> for 25 fatigue. <laughs> what? Oh, you're talking Battle Brothers, aren't you? <laughs> I was like, is that a Blood Bowl 2020 thing? That sounds nuts. Oh, no. no <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> No. Oh. Ah, yes. Well, do. that suddenly turned around a bit for uh, for Cole, oh. and he can still, yeah, he can chain everyone out though to safety, which is kind of. Oh, he doesn't. Oh no, he's got another hit. So yeah. He's got one more, you know, one more blitzer free there. Yeah, and, and knocking back the down guy restricts where he can go, doesn't it? Where <laughs> pushing him back wouldn't have mattered. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> the tubs. <laughs> yeah, the dwarf armor has been pretty abysmal thus far. <laughs> it has, hasn't it? Yeah, it KO'd off a rock, two stuns in back to back, and uh, that KO as well. But I mean, yep. he has made a kill in two KOs. And also the KO on the armor eight as well for the the you know the the thick skull troll slayer there. That's true. Though it wasn't eleven on the heavy roll. I know. Oh, okay. Yeah, fair, fair <laughs> enough. <laughs> but it, it didn't matter. Like I was just about to say, haha, the weakness of Ivy, and then I saw it and I was like, oh, I won't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> the weakness of not having tackle here. Guard going down. Oh no. Oh yeah. He, oh, he doesn't have tackle. Fuck yeah. Good call. <laughs> I assume everyone does on on dwarves. Oh well, there you go. The good point of frenzy. <laughs> <laughs> And now he's got is a GFI. He gonna, is he going to have the GFI? Yeah, yeah, I think he, he should have GFI at the end. Oh, no, he's just going to put him in. Eh, I guess that makes more sense. Le de yeah, that's, that's he's... good. He can double GFI now at the end. Yeah, he's going to be a little bit stretched out, but not terribly. Yeah, no, this is pretty good, isn't it, for him? Uh, k Fox at the yeah. side of the field. Is, this is pretty safe, I believe. Probably just wants to base here and eat actions. Get that garter relevant with the GFI again. Yeah, and then guard in there. Yeah, when you didn't put him in there, I realised he was just going to GFI into there. You could have double GFI in there, like around the troll I wouldn't have hated that. Um, but obviously, there's an extra two plus to make that could fail. But I, I personally would have wanted to have made two, G, two GFIs to get him up, you know, further upfield when there was the chance. Okay, Fog probably wants to set up a frenzy trap against this dwarf, doesn't he, with a sidestep? Ball is based, that's true. Yeah. GG. It's impossible to win once the ball is based. I mean, that's actually not a terrible ball basing, though, because it's a <laughs> lodge stepper. Yeah. And there's no guard immediately touching him, so. <laughs> or, excuse yeah. me, not guard, uh, uh, tackle. Yep. Yeah. 
Yeah, so now if he hits with the, uh, if he hits with a slayer, he'll sidestep to there and it'll be an, an uphill, so if he wants to... Yeah. But he's just got an easy, easy blitz if he wants to tackle him. Exactly. But now he can't. It, but now he can't advance a ton and protect the ball. No, he doesn't want to tackle him. Wow. Yeah. Actually, maybe now he. But now he can kind of advance. I, I get. Oh. He can consolidate rather than advance. I would say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So is he hitting this tackler then? I think he's hitting the runner. There doesn't seem anybody else left to hit. <laughs> Unless he three dices the. the Blitz, uh, I was thinking he would hit the tackler in the middle so and yeah. come back a little bit. But he hasn't hit me yet. It's turned so. six. He, he, yeah. yeah. He doesn't want to go back too far. Yeah, I thought he was going to blitz the runner, but then realized that then he's be massively exposed to this guy. He's going to three dice the runner. Pretty certain. Uh, yeah. Tackler. I'm pretty certain the ball carrier is going to three dice him. Yikes, you had Varnus. Yikes. No, it's not. <laughs> oh, he's got a ball carrier blitz. Interesting. But now what's he going to do? Yeah, I mean, that guy was pretty threatening. So. He's only a blodger, though. You know, maybe he should have let him have that. Yeah. Maybe he should have blitzed the uh, Maybe he should have blitzed the runner there. I don't know. Is he just thinking he's going to leave him up there and weather a hit by a tackle? Or excuse me, no, Russell. No, he's, not. he's definitely uh, no, okay. running back. <laughs> he was just thinking about it. It's so weird. I was like, well, the tackler's nowhere there, but the wrestler's right there. No, no, I think he was just deciding between like these two squares or whatever, whether it's GFI. Yeah, I thought he was gonna tuck him in with the garter again. I, I feel like the, I feel like the ball could still be hit by the wrestler if he wanted to. Well, not anymore. Uh, not really. Yeah. <laughs> well, definitely not now. No. <laughs> Oh, not blitzing the runner with him. Oh, he's going to blitz the furthest forward dwarf, isn't he? He's going to block the Troll Slayer. I don't know. I like punching the Troll Slayers, but I guess getting getting th this effect in <laughs> We're mode. nailing these predictions. I know, right? But, um, yeah. yeah, I guess that's a tackler, isn't it? And then it gets him further away. Like, if he does, if he, he doesn't want to leave the tackler in contact with him because he's got dodge players there. And now he's got a non-tackle player punching them, so yes. While I would have gone for the greedier player, probably, of punching the arm rate, he goes for the protecting his own players way. Yeah, it's getting real hard for Coley to score now, isn't it, with two turns left? Good play by PTK. Yeah, absolutely. That was a good, uh, good turn. Definitely. <laughs> I mean, it's easy enough to get the ball protected in scoring range, but it's going to be uh, a lot of work to get it in the end zone the next turn. Yeah, yeah. I don't think it's that easy to get it protected in scoring range, to be honest. Yeah. You can get it into scoring range. <laughs> we can agree on that. How protected it is is going to take uh, GFIs and he's got blodge. Just go for yeah, he's got too much, route. too many, too many long beards over on the left, away from the ball. They're not going to really be able to help. Yeah, exactly. He, he kept central, but that hasn't helped him now. It's, he it's might, he might actually time. be having to, uh, having to rely on the old, uh, <laughs> the old base attack. Well, can he get one more? No, he can't get one more in front there. He's going to have to base up some of these guys with tackle and hope that Kefo rolls a one, <laughs> a double one. Yeah, he might as well. He might as well do that double GFI at the end. Oops. He re rolled this. He's got two on him. Yeah, yeah, no harm, no, no harm in that one. Yeah, I think I think double GFI based the tackle is pretty good, to be honest. I'm surprised he didn't hit the. Uh, this is terrible. Did he misclick? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Well, I don't know what that was. Wow, I mean, he, if he paused gun, for a long time. I guess it's really bad if he gets a board. Like, if he gets a push into a board down on the guard, it's terrible. But yeah, he was going for that two, two GFIs to tag the tackle. Oh, I guess that and now though it's harder to dodge. I mean, it's hard to dodge that that 
uh, guard piece, the guard elf, out to uh, assist the witch blitz if he's going to even do it. Yeah. Oh, now it's not because yeah. he was just instantly <laughs> Yeah, he just instantly punched him, yeah. Maybe he was scared of the push into the buff yeah. down or like um, push into push. You know, that 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 could have been real bad, couldn't it? So I guess. Oh, see, that's where I would have put the guard, I think. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, because he's, he's, he's... Oh, he's, <laughs> he's going to chain him back. Yes. But he's still in range. But, uh, it's hard. Oh! The one. There's the one. He gets away. Yeah, so he's got he's got the screen there. And he cannot, he cannot, he can't move laterally at all and score. So you yep. can just, you can just. A bit, I bet he'll be uh, slightly annoyed that he's used the wizard, the wizard, use the reroll here because it means he can't make as many geophytes to cover, can he? So he's got to do some careful turn ordering and. Uh... And that Slayer cannot score on a miracle dodge double GFI. So... No, not unless he gets chained by these sidesteppers. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> by the side steppers, yeah. <laughs> I will be excited to see how that one works out. <laughs> yeah. If he, so he's got to make a GFI here, I think. Yeah. And just run away with him. But all, all things considered, you know, no bench for K Fog, two KO rolls that are going to be pretty huge. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, down and then down alignment. So, you know, K Fog could come in, uh, you know, at like nine, eight, nine players. He could indeed. Well, Colian will have 11 guaranteed because even if this yep. Slayer doesn't come back, he's got the reserve. <laughs> I mean, if you if you block the runner, then um, it, it would be four four three, which was doable. But now, obviously, with attack the room behind, it's not good. He's got to do something insane, like power this witch elf. He's got to power the witch elf here, and then do like a six plus four plus three plus. Or he's just going to blitz himself and power. Okay, we'll just get the power. Oh no, he's powering the runner. Okay. This yeah. is still a six plus dodge though. Oh! <laughs> that was a couple fives now instead if he goes the other way because of the KO. <laughs> I think you have to do the six plus three plus, don't you? Oh yeah, six plus three plus because it's open there. He, he didn't make it. <laughs> I think that was the right play, the old 6 plus 3 plus. Well, a successful defense by the elves, but now they'd only get the one uh, the one uh, uh, KO roll. Could bite him in the ass a little bit. It could. Is he going to go for a surf here? I think he should. Whether he can get the assists or not, I think he... No. I think he's not going for it. I'm, uh, he only had a minute, I guess. But the Witch Elf could have run around and pushed him twice, and then yeah. like, this guy could yeah. have come back and what have you. He probably could have served him. Uh, oh, no, he's he still going it. for it, I think. Isn't he? Oh, yes, he's still going for it this way. Ah, yes, he's going for it. I like that. I like that. Cute by K-Fog there. Yeah, he did do the thing. He just looks to have it, maybe. Oh, there you go. Then he's he didn't give up him. on the on figuring it out. He just figured it out instantly a different way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he had a better way to do it <laughs> in half the time. <laughs> I don't know if it was better. I don't know if it was no, better. It, it was a one D. But yeah, he certainly. Uh, no KO rolls for KFO. Huge. Here we go. Absolutely huge. But he got he stopped the score, didn't he? So he might just. Uh, he might just, you know, try and quick score here, even. I don't know, man. He's got to score, hasn't he? That's the thing. If he scores, he can defend again, can't he? So I think yeah. it's one of those situations where he'll just score any chance he gets, and he's not going to care too much about stalling. He's just going to get the touchdown if he can. And then hope he can defend. Maybe he'll dack her. <laughs> I'll tell you what, Dakar, we, we have seen a fair bit of we've seen a fair bit of it in Blitzpit. Yeah, it's it's funny how like 
you know, I remember like you know about a year ago or two years ago or something or maybe it's, yeah probably it's two years ago we we're talking about the AI you know making a good AI and then like people were like people were like the AI would probably come up with crazy strategies that no one's thought of before and everyone was like nah everything's everything's you know it's pretty much solved in Blood Bowl isn't it they wouldn't be doing anything crazy and then the, we've got we now we've got the DACA which is like pretty fucking like you know pretty pretty crazy isn't it that like one person just thought of something new yeah. after like you know how many of a years 20 26 years of of a modern blood ball essentially <laughs> and uh in defense of the ai it has come up with unique strategies like <laughs> refusing to score when it's in score range without dice rolling that's true yeah <laughs> but a good ai that was the that was the discussion <laughs> oh, oh oh i missed that qualifier my bad, my bad. <laughs> Yeah, I love when the AI refuses to score. It's fantastic. Oh, man. It was the new improved AI as well that added the video, and that was the funniest thing. <laughs> new and improved. I can't wait. I can't wait to see the Blood Bowl three AI. It'll probably just uninstall the game. <laughs> I've got a feeling it's going to be exactly the same as the Blood Bowl two AI. <laughs> I think you are correct, sir. <laughs> Yeah, this is going to be real tough from PT on PTK. Yeah. I've, what I've noticed is that PTK and Elliot, especially, rather than like, you know, going in a desperate, like, even against, I thought he had to against Yak, if you remember the match against Yak. I don't know if you were commentating on that one as well when PTK played Yak in the qualifiers. And, uh. I don't think so. Uh, we didn't watch all of the game, we just switched over it at the end of the game. Oh and, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. He was like, he had about five players, and he didn't go for like a quick score. He like tried to kind of play a normal offense with six or seven guys. But I've noticed right. that the Elliot does that a lot, and like you know, he'll just he'll just hang in there in like kind of a normal formation, and then hope that somehow something gets stretched and he gets a chance. Whereas, like I think most people would try and try and force something to happen um, down this many players, but. Both PTK and Elliot, of course, both great players. Elliot did not qualify, um, the same as me. <laughs> but I mean, he is a great player, isn't he? And, and they're both very patient in, in situations. Yeah, Elliot, Elliot and I were eliminated by the uh, the same guy. Uh, so I mean, that really just shows goes to show you how uh, similar a level Elliot and I are as <laughs> Blood Bowl coaches. Absolutely. I'm on the hey, I'm on the verge of being a two-time SFL winner, the only two-time SFL winner <laughs> yeah, in Blood impressive. Bowl two history. So uh, we'll see. I, all I got to do is beat Calcium. Yeah, yeah, that's that's doable, isn't it? Like it's not. It's well, not. well, Calcium, Calcium has qualified for this, hasn't he? Yeah. Uh, he no, 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 he failed. He lost. In oh, the final, oh, he didn't. PTK uh, beat him in the final. Yeah. Well, but Calcium's right, good. Like right. Calcium's no slouch whatsoever. Um, I just meant it's doable, isn't it? Like anything's doable. It's like it's not crazy to to beat. Certainly, yeah. To beat. Hawker I mean, it's or especially Elliot or anything. Yeah, I mean, he's playing in that game. He's playing Wood Elves. So, like, if they die, I got a good chance. Yeah. If they get a blitz, I don't. <laughs> you know, <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> it's pretty simple. You know, it's pretty simple. All things considered. Yeah. Hello, Zenite. Yeah, this is AI. Yeah, like like, like 2K19. <laughs> oh, could you imagine if we commentated AI Blood Bowl matches? I'd do it. I Jim, I'd do it. I would do it. Oh, I man. think it would be hilarious. We'd have to do it in full character, though. Yeah. <laughs> like, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> there was the... Uh, Be Bezel did the bot ball, didn't he? I lost interest because it was so crap, to yeah. be honest. Like, it was, yeah, it's just hard to watch. It's like hard the, to uh, watch. The gameplay, yeah. yeah. The gameplay. Yeah. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not dissing Bezel. But, uh, the, yeah, after a while, like, at first, I was like, oh, this is interesting. And I was like, oh, fuck off. This is crap. What, what, did, they, what did they do with that through? Because it wasn't even, like, fumble, was it? Uh, I don't know, to be honest. I don't yeah, know what they did. I can't remember. I just remember being like, I would enjoy this so much more if it was like a legible format. Yeah, but it isn't just. Yeah, I remember it not being. Yeah, 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 it was a rough watch, and I also just generally hate yeah. that Blood Bowl, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, that's where we differ, sir. <laughs> because I watched you. Oh, savage! Absolutely oh, savage. Dear. Oh, yeah. dear. Oh dear. 
Like I can I can watch people who are terrible if I like them, but I've got to really like them to be able to endure crap Blood Bowl, to be honest. Whereas I'll still enjoy watching somebody good play, even if uh, you know no matter who they are. Basically, I'll still enjoy watching the game. Yeah, there were a lot of really likable bad Blood Bowl players that streamed a long time ago, and they've all kind of gone, "Oh, hey, Combat Bunny, how you doing?" <laughs> I'm, kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But I do miss your Blood Bowl streams. They're always a wild, oh. a wild time. <laughs> That's a sick burn, Skiro. I feel like you may have gone down the rabbit hole. <laughs> <laughs> that was kind of a blots, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> that got appropriate. You know, his blots got uh, culturally, culturally appropriate. <laughs> I know. I made. I made that emote for Davo. Yeah. Oh man. Because <laughs> someone, someone else, someone else was like, I don't know who, who was the who was the Scottish streamer. There's another one, isn't there? And he was. He was in. Uh, um... He was in my chat, and I was like, "There's been a blot," <laughs> and he thought it was for him, but it wasn't. It was for Combat yeah. Bunny. Yeah. Fuck yeah! Thanks for the heads up, Foxamania. About fucking time. Good lord. <laughs> Woo! Reroll. So there, you sucked a reroll out of him. Fub. <laughs> what does fub mean? <laughs> I'm kidding, you were never enjoyable to watch. Oh, baby. <laughs> that's, that's pretty great. <laughs> Of course, he chains him, and then he can dodge away. It's rough, though, isn't it? It's dwarf. It is dwarf. I guess he's got four rerolls, so he's not so concerned about his guys not having dodge. But it's still rough, and he has he is he is imbalanced here, isn't he? Um, he is imbalanced with like if you look at the center line, he's got four dwarves on the left side and only. One dwarf on the right side, so you know, if they set the center three there, he's rather, uh, rather, rather out of position. And then he can chain the middle guy up further away as well. He's following for the one? No, he's just not going to go. Did he run out of time? The, oh, the ball's way back there. Okay, I was like, where's the ball? Yeah, he's just, <laughs> just picking about. But, I mean, he's just going to, like, keep getting collapsed in on, I feel. Yeah, this is why I don't like doing this kind of thing. Right. But, um, but you know, PTK and Del Yod are both, com like, comfortable with it. They've done it more than me, I guess, as well, you know? So, like, you know, like, that's a bit of it, isn't it? Like results-based analysis in a bit, you know, like, I do tend to struggle when I try to do this, so I don't do it as much, whereas if they, if they, if they keep trying to do it, eventually they'll get more confident and think they've got more chance of doing it. <laughs> I, I believe he, uh, he parked them, can't log on, they're, they're still top, aren't they? Uh, I, I believe Dio's overtaken them, but they're, you know, they've got a really good score. Yeah. Um, they were just on a break, to be honest, while I was, I just took a break with them. We were on a break! That's the That's the problem with uh with the with the opening week rush is like you get your high TV advantage, you get everything going, but then you gotta spin for ten minutes to get a game, and it's a terrible game, and then you're like, Why am I why am I basically the only thing that's stopping me right now is getting diced. Why am I playing for getting diced right now? I'll just take a break. Mm. <laughs> you know? yeah. And then you've lost your advantage and you're like, shit, I should have carried on. Yeah, <laughs> what yeah, easy yeah. blitz here, that's a real good spot for his guard, isn't it? And now it looks like Colleen is overcommitted the other way, doesn't it? Quite possibly an overcommit the other way from Colleen. But I guess it's his fastest player holding the sideline, which is good. So that's it, isn't it? You know, there's a bit there's always a bit of pushing and pulling to be done, isn't there, with, with few L's, but I don't know, I feel like it's it's not my not my bag. <laughs> not my cup of tea, I tell you. Yeah, 77 points is still good, but I probably should have kept playing while I had the TV advantage. 
I mean, you could you could definitely still get another five games in with them yeah. and probably be okay, assuming you don't spin into like killing Nurgle. Anybody good? Yeah. Uh, now look at this though. K Folk has done a good job of getting himself space down there yep. to uh, you know to not potato, but to like bolt down the sideline and just score. You know, yeah, he was. He was a bit out of position, wasn't he? He was a bit out of position, as you can see. There's like five players on this side of the field and none on the other side. <laughs> so yeah, that was a bit of a, that was a bit out of position from Colian. I feel like I'd want that guard, that leading guard, Dark Elf, one square to the right, just to really, really clamp down the the dwarves being able to get in front. Yeah, but maybe it wouldn't. It probably wouldn't matter that much because they're all those guys are movement four anyway. Yeah, plus it might mean that he got tagged by somebody like this. This further guy. Yeah, would would then be able to tag him. First long beard could tag him then. So maybe, maybe that was it to try and. Oh, did you lose two games in a row with your dwarves to close yeah. it out? Yeah, I was twenty. I was <laughs> okay, I was twenty yeah, fair, three fair one, and I lost two in a row, so it was pretty. It was pretty. It was pretty tragic because, like, they were both kind of. They were both both games. It was a one in nine pickup to score basically on ten sixteen. Both times the one in nine pickup failed. One time that was the only wall that was required, and the other time there was a blitz and stuff. So it might not have still might not have worked. Uh, but I had a re-roll, so they could have easily been two draws. Um, and then on turn sixteen as well, on his turn sixteen, he uh, cast a guy uh, and, and minus moved him. So. It was a pretty costly turn 16 in the last match that they played. <laughs> so now he's got to he's got to make this bit strong to stop the the you know like if he's trying to speak English. <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't listening to you anyway, so I hope you weren't talking to me. <laughs> no, I was, I was talking to the stream in general. I was trying to speak English, but I just failed. Um, so that he's got to reinforce at this point to stop the uh, to stop the switch. And doing yep. so with a GFI is a bit risky because if he ha now he's, he can't afford to be weak here. He can't. He can't reroll that. He has to because he, he just he shouldn't have made the, He sh just shouldn't have made the GFI. He couldn't afford to fail that GFI, so he, he was just better yeah. from making it. Um, but now PTK probably just turns the corner down down here anyway. Yep. So that's why it was a shit GFI because it didn't achieve anything. Oh, ho, 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 ho. the one on the dodge against tackle re-rolls it. Ooh. Has to. That that is brutal. Pushes here is brutal as well. Yep. Oh. Oh. Bad dice. <laughs> Not the dice PTK I wanted to see. This is going to make it a little interesting. Yeah, power there is so much better. Like power on the in initial hit is even better. But this is this is this reminds me of Ori Lensis's da uh, Dark Elves in the Cup. Uh, I don't remember that in the Chalice. There was a turn where he did this, and he, he rolled badly and just got you know loads of board downs and pushes and stuff. So obviously, people in the Infinite Wisdom decided that it was a really risky advance and it was a bad play rather than just a bit unlucky <laughs> that was a bit lucky though that but that cas wasn't it that made makes up for the uh non knockdown there and he gets him out so it's okay as long as he makes this two plus as well yeah so he gets away with that doesn't he he gets away with this it would have been so much better had he knocked that guy down but yeah but he, he still got away with it, which is the important thing. Yeah, I feel like I feel like with Colian's numbers advantage, maybe he pressed a little too hard because now what's going to happen here is I think when K Fog, if K Fog scores, when he scores, it'll be on turn <laughs> sixteen, not on turn like twelve, giving <laughs> Colian a chance, you know? Yeah, well, it's hard. I mean, it's really hard. Like it's super hard with dwarves, with real dwarves. That have yeah. <laughs> that have more movement five and edge three. Um, yeah, you think you I, you'd think he'd really be enjoying having blitzers right now. Yeah. <laughs> what did he gain? What did he gain by dropping the blitzers? The extra troll slayer. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Who is um? Where is he? Oh yeah, there he is. <laughs> <laughs> In the gas box. Yeah. It's it's hard though against elves with with uh, you know with dwarves. It's so easy yeah. to get to get stretched like this. 
Yeah, and also again, one minute turns. You know, elves yeah. elves at the end of the day can make two pluses to save some bad positioning. Dwarves really can't. Yeah. Um, so you know, I think that's why I, I assume. I mean, that and just his general expertise and comfort level with uh, dark elves is why Kafo keeps going back to um, dark elves yeah, in in this format Some because it gives him a lot of outs and options. Yeah. Yeah, he definitely knows what he's doing the most with Dark Elves, doesn't he? So it's yeah. just like... Yeah, but now he's got him pinned in pretty nicely, yeah, that, that numbers that's, advantage. That's with that bloody... Uh, with that no knockdown, wasn't it, from the Witch Elf? That was the thing. Uh, he, without yep. that knockdown, he could yep. only, only get one of these people. Oh boy, she has failed her last three dodges, I think. Yeah. Kefo has to burn oh, rerolls oh, on oh, this, oh. too. Makes the yeah, one nine dodge. Absolutely yeah, nice. that was a three plus, not a two plus, but uh, still, yikes. Now where's he supposed to go, though? Exactly. It's not even good. Does he have to make another one in nine dodge here? It's one in three now, so he just can't. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, good point. <laughs> <laughs> yep, this is, uh, uh, this is looking real bad. This is bad terrible. Thing. So I guess you got to give... Some credit to Colian for the recovery last turn, but absolutely. I mean, Kfog's turn to get up that sideline was horrible. Oh, he does make it. Yeah. Oh <laughs> boy, can he do it two times here? He shouldn't dodge. He should have blocked. Oh, he did it. Oh, he couldn't one D block because of the guard. No, because of the guard. Oh man. <laughs> he might get away with this. If he can just keep making three oh, pluses, not though. this time. Oh, uh, it... oh, he's not even trying yet. I don't know. He's thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> he's got eight seconds to think about it. He <laughs> rolled a one. Uh, Good decision not dodging that guy. What is that blitzer that? What is that blitzer doing there, though? Is he helping at all? Ah, uh, he probably would. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess he's. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I guess it kind of helps. Yeah, he could be like screened off with two GFIs. I guess he doesn't need to screen off with two GFIs, but he could have done like that. He's already got so far away. That was an all or nothing turn from Colian, wasn't it? Jammed everyone in, yep. and now he's past him. And yeah. Col uh, Colian's still got a shot on the ball here, but yeah. He can maybe let's chain out the Slayer here. He's chaining out it. just the tackler. I can chain him out, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If he's willing to make a GFI, he's got a block on the Witch Elf into a Blitz on the ball for 2D. Yeah. Well, I guess that assumes he knocks the Witch Elf over. You could probably get the ball without. Just gets two tackle zones and the witch for the jump, dump off catch, so. And it gives yeah. him the recovery from on the runner. Doesn't get him. See, I quite like going for the one day, actually. Yeah, fair enough. Well, that's, uh. That's probably K Fog scoring, but he has no re rolls. And, uh, Colian will have one re roll heading, uh. Heading into, oh no, not overtime. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot he didn't score for a second there. Yeah. I was thinking about overtime rerolls, but they're kind of just going for broken 16 turns here. Yeah, absolutely. Hello, just to see him. Hello. An absolute tabletop legend there. And fumble probably. <laughs> Yeah, this is tough, isn't it? This is looking like he's going to have to make some scary rolls. Two pluses without, you know, two pluses without rerolls. But he's got dodge, he just scores here, doesn't he? He just scores turn 15. Without rerolls, he can't. Surely he can't possibly uh, try to stall here. Yep. 
doesn't he doesn't all turn right off. well there will be a two-turn attempt by Colian with a reroll to save the game for him and uh avoid having to go into the loser's bracket so this is not single elimination if you're just joining us uh Colian, uh if he cannot score will get another uh, at least one game, and we'll have a road to the finals. But it's a it's a scarier road. Yeah. Winning that first game is pretty nice in Blitz. Bit. Yeah. yeah, winning every game is nice. You always get the second. <laughs> the only one that isn't so nice winning is like the semi final, isn't it? Because um... no, well, in fact, that's the worst one to win is the semi final. Like, it's the kind of the winners' final is the worst match to win, isn't it? Because then, <laughs> then you could you you lose if you only have, get one loss, whereas any other way you need two losses to lose. So, funnily enough, <laughs> funnily enough, the least important one to win is the semi final. <laughs> Yeah, two turns with no blitzes and one runner. It's it's not great, is it? Some people would say it's absolutely terrible and it was a crazy decision to make this build. But, you know, I guess if you want to win the tournament, you've pretty much got to high roll people, haven't you? At the end of the day, like, like you know, like KFOG made those three pluses there without re -rolls. And if you're going to win, the, you're not going to win the tournament by getting diced, are you? At the end of the day. So there are not to get not to get into U.S. politics because I know you don't want to, but uh, there are a lot of reports swirling that Donald Trump is currently playing golf, and that's where they finally told him that he had lost the election, <laughs> which is just the most beautiful thing I can imagine, other than him like slipping on a banana peel and shitting himself when he heard. <laughs> oh, dear. Do you know in England, uh, oh. golf courses, I mean, maybe it's in America as well, um, golf courses aren't allowed to open in the lockdown, which seems a bit crazy seeing as, like, you're in a massive wide open space, not near anybody. <laughs> um, Isn't it? Uh, well, yeah, but the, but there's so much, like, there's so much that goes into golf clubs, or golf courses that are, like, so like you know like the country club part of it yeah. like having a caddy that's touching stuff that you're touching like so i uh, i don't know i don't give a shit about golf i don't think about golf other than when i think about bad things that happen happening to trump on a golf course <laughs> 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 but uh but that being said i think that would i think that varies greatly by the responsibility and intelligence of the uh, people running the states that, that said golf course is in um, yeah no, yeah, fair enough. I didn't, I didn't think of, of anything other than just playing a game of golf. <laughs> yeah. I guess you can play a game of golf with your friend. You can uh, break into the golf, the golf course, the golf club, and just have a knock around with your friend. That'd be all right. You'd be obeying social distancing laws. You'd probably get paid less. You'd probably have less of a fine to pay for like trespassing and stuff than you would yeah. for breaking the lockdown. <laughs> you'd be like, hey, at least we're social distancing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you might get the four plus pickup. The long, the long beard quarterback is. He's up for the pass. Hey! Oh my it. goodness! Oh, he didn't catch it. Oh no! Oh no! But he's got a chance. <laughs> he's got a chance. Kevog's got no rerolls. He could he could just double skull the first thing he does. So he's got to he's got to play he's got to play safe, hasn't he? Yeah. He's got to, sure he's does. He's got to spend a little bit nine seconds. He's got to spend a little bit of time making sure he does safe moves first. <laughs> I mean, when have we ever seen an improbable pass play ruin someone's tournament uh, uh, performance, Jim? <laughs> never, <laughs> never. That was quite possibly the greatest moment I've ever seen a blood ball. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking six blood. It was, it was funny in retrospect, yes. <laughs> yeah, in retrospect. For me and Calcium watching it live, it was pretty funny, too. <laughs> yeah. I <laughs> think Calcium had called the match as well. <laughs> Classic Calcium. <laughs> yeah, he goes for the pickup. So he hasn't made save moves first, really. Oh, did he get a kickoff? Off? Did he got a rear off the kickoff? Look at Dog. He still didn't make save moves first, and there's still a handoff into touchdown. 
<laughs> Here it is! He might have it, he's just gotta make a 4 plus 3 plus, right? And, uh, yeah. GFIs? 4, 3, yeah, two, 4 two. plus 3. See, if, if he had just put that guy over there or something, or, like, done something safe, stood up the guys. To not, I know he had the reward in the kickoff, but wow. Imagine if Colian had any more edge 3 on his team. <laughs> Is he gonna go for the, like, a scatter for a chance of a catch? I don't like <coughs> that idea. <laughs> no. Well, he, he's uh, maybe getting a little collateral for uh, yeah, overtime OT is, if he can tie it up here. Exactly, yeah. overtime is his only hope, isn't it? So he might as well punish people yeah. before it. Yeah. Oh, he can't, but yeah, he can't. Oh, he doesn't need to hit the uh, <laughs> the blotch stuff. Yeah, there. he can't, and yeah, he just yeah. can't hit it. Right, four, All right, three. I think this is going to be it right here. Four, three, two, two. He's made he makes the four. The four. <laughs> oh my goodness! This is he why Colian doesn't take blitzes; just roll falls. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. He's done it. Oh, man. He's tied it up, folks. <laughs> we are going to an improbable <laughs> overtime. Oh, and man. oh dear! I mean, hey, you know what? We're laughing. You gotta give Colian some credit on his defense because he got all those rerolls out of Kfog yeah. in a spot. I mean, he was up players, he had the advantage, but once that line broke open on the left, I just thought it was over. Yeah. And he really shorted up and made Kfog have to roll a bunch of dice to score. Yeah. What a comeback! And now let's see. I think I know, I know he rolled good on the pickups and then, but I think Kfog could have punted that a bit. You know, I think. He had one scoring threat, and he, he tried to pick it up. He didn't need to pick it up. He just needed to blitz the troll yeah. slayer and make it impossible for that runner to score. That was all he had to do, you know? And now Kfog has lost the toss and still failed his, his KO rolls on his witch yeah. and his lineman. So he's sitting here trying to defend with, what, eight guys? Yep. Uh, this is uh, this is gonna be a rough loss if uh, if it works out that way. And he's also maybe he'll get a uh, maybe well. he'll get his uh, the vaunted blitz. Yeah, he wasted that extra reroll he got on that pickup. I really hated that. Honestly, I like I said he's got to think about this, and he just didn't. Did he just took nine seconds and went into yeah. like the kind of I don't know if it's. It's, I don't know if it's a natural play or whatever, but it's like, oh, there's a ball in the ground, I'll just pick it up as L's. But, like, he, there was one scoring threat, and all he had to do was stop that guy being able to score. And especially as he, well, especially as I thought he had zero rerolls. With zero rerolls, I would have, like, you know, screened off the runner and then and then blitzed in front of him kind of thing. But going against expectations. Rip everyone's predictions. I didn't predict KFOG doing well. I, I thought that it's really hard to beat two dwarf teams. We've um, got we we have a lot we have an absolute ton of video on dark elves played by Kfog in Blitzpit at this point. Like yeah. and, you know, like has, has he has did he win one? He did win one, didn't he? Uh, no, no, he. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> made the finals in he one? made the final against Wolfbag where he just played chof 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 like he played up three oh, or four that's right. yeah 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 so like that is both a testament to Kfog's uh absolute skill as a blood bowl coach but also like you gotta believe if he was playing the meta like some of these other guys would he would have a blitz fit win under his belt by oh, now yeah. I mean he's for sure good enough but there's a lot that goes into it isn't it that's the thing yeah there's of a course, lot of of course. as well like you know Kfog fails at one of those three plus dodges, he doesn't score. Uh, if Colian makes the four plus pickup, he, and three, if he, you know, four, three, two, two, if he doesn't make that, he loses. So there's always going to be like crucial dice rolls, but there's also crucial decisions, and maybe, maybe uh, Kfog screwed the pooch for that one. I don't know what that phrase means, I don't know if you should say it. <laughs> Does it mean fucking no, a dog? No, that's correct. Yeah, yeah, no, that's correct. He, Does it mean fucking a dog? Uh, well, I mean, I guess if you break down the words, it means fucking a dog, but uh, it means uh, it means just you fucked up bad. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. I guess I don't know. I don't know where that where that started from. I'm gonna assume it it didn't start from fucking dogs, but <laughs> if you are fucking dogs, you are screwing. In fact, the pooch in multiple different ways. <laughs> I <hate> to say. <laughs> oh, dude. 
Yeah, I think that was a bit of a mistake. But I mean, you know, that's the thing, isn't it? Oh god, I think he should move this guy. He must be going to GFI him. Or he's forgotten he exists. Yeah, he's double GFI him. Yeah. Don't know if he needed that. Again, he could have just been here, couldn't he? Um, he just brings in the guard to, to negate that. <laughs> Yep. Kfog has rolled a lot of pushes. He has, yeah. Yeah, and that, that witch blitz, if that witch blitz had been a power, yeah. then Kfog yeah. almost certainly scores still, you know, still, still turns 16 and wins. So, like, that's the thing that, you know, especially, especially like, when, co like, you know, if you've got coaches of vastly different skill levels. Then the dice is hardly a consideration, is it? You know, like I'm gonna beat my mum nine ninety nine times out of a hundred or whatever if she was to try blood bowl. Whereas you know, K Fog, even if K Fog was like you know better than say Corleone or whatever, and they had identical teams, there's there's a lot of games like you know even if he was uh, I don't know, just like you know it doesn't matter how much better they were like you know say a seventy percent coach versus a sixty percent coach, they're probably not gonna win. You know, by as much as they think they would win, just because the dice are going to decide some games, aren't they? And then when you've got like seventy percent as versus seventy percent, as the, the dice are going to determine an even greater number then as well, aren't they? So I think there's a lot. Absolutely. People like to think there's a lot of skill in it, and obviously there is. There is like skill and play, isn't there? I read an article about something. Can't remember what game what? it was. Well, this is already off to a good start. Yeah, I read, <laughs> tell I read, me more about this article about something. Yeah, there was an article about something. It might be uh, poker, but it was like, or it could be magic. It could have been magic. It was magic or poker, one of those two things. And in this article, it says like there's there's like three things. There's play, well, skill, play, and look. So, like, if you're a skillful player, you've always got that skill. But mm -hmm. anybody can, like, make a bad play, can't they? Um, so, you know, and they don't always play 100%. And then, obviously, there's luck as well. So, there you go. I thought it was quite interesting. I mean, it doesn't help anybody because you're not reading the article. You're just hearing to a madman ramble. But... Right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but, right. <laughs> but it was a quite interesting article because I thought that is that does break it down quite well, doesn't it? Like, you know, even if, even if say... Uh, K Fog is a more skillful player than Calcium. Um, there will be games where Calcium plays better than K Fog, for argument's sake, I'm not dissing Calcium or anything. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh man, he's going, going hard on the GFIs yeah. this half. Wait, but he's, given him, like... he's given him four pluses at the ball. He could actually get two dice on this. Yeah. Like why wouldn't he? You know, it's de it's desperate times. Yeah, I don't know why he's going so crazy. I don't feel he needs to. I just feel he needed no. to like button down the hatches and play super conservative here. K Fog's got no rerolls. Just play uber conservative and uh, and he's been he made two GFIs there to do nothing in the first turn. He's made two GFIs here. I think he needs to just cool it with the uh, anti GFI remarks. Okay. <laughs> oh well. Oh, that's 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 Goes a away. bad loss though. Losing the yeah, losing the uh, the guard. Like, it was always just going to happen, wasn't it? It was all like you know, obviously, unless unless K Fog's really lucky, um, he's always going to roll a one at some point, and uh, and maybe sure. several points. So just just you know, you've got plenty of turns. You've got a reroll. He doesn't. Just uh, just use those turns to make sure the ball's safe and you don't do anything stupid. And then he's just yeah. Like, I mean, this ball could be. This ball could be going two two squares a turn for all yeah. Colian cares. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, one one a turn. Yeah. And we go twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. Okay, maybe it's not one a turn. <laughs> but still, yeah, two a turn. Two a turn. He'd be happy with two a turn. But yeah, I did read something. That's a pretty incredible story, isn't it? I'm sure we can all agree. <laughs> I don't do a lot of reading, but I did read something once. <laughs> oh, I'm do you know who we have next? 
I've Do we follow no the winner or the loser or no? I don't I've know. got no idea. <laughs> I've got no idea. Oh, I actually, if I recall from me. previous tournaments, G'day Nick just announces it. I think. Uh, all right. As as it as it develops in the challenge. Good. Good, because I don't know anything. Okay. I'll take a look now. <laughs> Stay where he is? I guess he's not moving one square this turn. Staying where he is looks like the safest thing and not blocking the sidestep. Maybe he's just going for a little bit. Oh yeah, he can get uphill, can't he? He doesn't really care about getting uphill with Blodge. Wait, k has got a reroll. He got another reroll off the kickoff. Oh, it's Leader. Is it leader that came back? Or is it a leader bug? Oh, I don't know what's happened with the kickoff results. I don't know if this is a leader bug or if he got an extra reel uh, off the uh, kickoff. So just for just for some updates from around the tournament, Dionysian has fallen 2 nothing to fellow Welshman Andy Davo uh, in the opening round. Davo has advanced and he will face... Fufale's Lizards, who also won 2 nothing over Diomed in round two. Fufale, best known as the guy who eliminated Skirimezzo from the uh, <laughs> the first uh, the first open qualifier. That was a legendary match that everyone remembers, in which Skuro's uh, Tomb Guardian accidentally dodged and basically threw the game. And just coming in now, Purple Chest has beaten Corn Knight one nothing. That's the dwarves over Kislev, and we'll be facing the winner of this game, Colian, most likely Colian, the way things are shaping up. Um, and then, oh my goodness, Rick Reckless, 2 nothing over Larkstar, Kislev over Kemri. Rick advances to round two. He is Rick rolling this tournament. Is he going to face Crucifer's Kemri? Yeah, he did just get some practice against them. Uh, or uh, Rusi's Wood Elves. And then finally, down below, I didn't even know Shawnee was in the tournament, but he lost his first game to Yak. Humans over Undead. Yak is stay advances. Wow. Yeah, Yak's got a pretty good team. Yeah. And Shawnee says so he's I, a blood bowl. All team. I'm hoping for is that if we get loser's bracket round one, uh, match nine, <laughs> we can have Dio versus Dio. Undead <laughs> versus Necro. Yeah, that would be pretty good. Be yeah, I, 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 I was tempted to bet on Fufale to get to the final. Um, but I just thought it's too dangerous if he plays Devo because, like, obviously, High Elves pretty can, you know, got a pretty good matchup against them, whereas Lizards have got a pretty good matchup against Undead. So, and obviously, that, that one was a hard one to call. Um, as a uh, as a Blitz Pit sponsor, my three picks to Gdanik in the uh, tipping uh, pool or whatever were uh, not so good. I like to say the Gorilla Mezzo picks have definitely carried over. <laughs> Shawnee and Dionysian uh, let me down. PC still uh, still chugging though. Well, I mean, it is double elimination, so there's still hope, but uh, <laughs> not not great by me. <laughs> What did I, I went PC, Shawnee, Dio, PTK. Because I just thought I thought PTK would lose one of the first rounds. Oh, but... Core Knight, that is brutal. Sorry <laughs> to hear it. You never want that in a game, let alone a one-minute turn game. Wow. But hey, good luck in round two. Still alive. Yeah, still in it. Still in it with fucking slap. Oh, there's the tackler. He's got a reroll though. He's got a reroll. He can reroll it, which I didn't even know he had. And then he rolls one of the GFI. PTK has lost. Call you. There we go. That's it. Indeed, and looks like we are being joined in the booth by Kfog himself. Kfog, commiserations. That was a game though. I was fucked. <laughs> <laughs> we uh, we all wrote we all wrote Colian off at the end there, and uh, the two turn. What can? <laughs> yeah, I hate to say it, K Fog, with the loss so fresh in your memory, but I really didn't like that. That look to me, that that turn, your turn fifteen, turn sixteen, whatever it was, just looked like an autopilot. Ooh, the ball's on the floor, I'll just like, you know, do this blitz and pick it up and stuff. Whereas really, he had only had one possible scoring threat. 
maybe it was better to like you know blitz the troll slayer and make it hard for him and stuff. He could have no lateral movement to be able to score. Um, yeah, definitely an option. On the other hand, it's three plus two plus, and then he's definitely not scoring either because I have yeah. I can screen the ball off. Yeah, true. Where if where if I've just tried to screen him off, there's I cannot prevent any chains or anything because I don't have players to stop him from getting a chance at it. And I think if the if he hadn't had the ball, if the, he failed the pick up, then I definitely just try to screen him off. Yeah, uh, yeah. But the, he he could just pick it up on handoff like he ended up doing yeah. with the ball on the floor in that square. Yeah. And I don't think I could avoid it. I, I, my brain was definitely not looking at with that few elf. I'm not sure I could avoid it him giving back a chain push. Yeah, maybe not. Maybe not. But I, I was at least my because I needed to use one just to put the assist in and one splits. And yeah. I was like, what? Twenty five percent of my elves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And also. It's, yeah, look, I'm not saying it's wrong. I just felt like you thought nine seconds before your first move on that turn, and I thought you were like, you know, you really had to. I had, think to be fair, I've, been, I've used his, I've decided compared. I had made the decision from when he set up and when he got to the ball. Fair. I used the last of, I used the last of his turn to decide if he missed it on the cats in the square I could get it. I will go for it because, especially three plus two, three plus two plus. <laughs> Yeah. Because even if I fail three plus two plus, he's still four plus three plus two plus two plus. Yeah. <laughs> um, which is of course that without using a reroll. Um, <laughs> Absolutely standard. That's why Colian doesn't need blitzes. <laughs> Just roll fours on his long beards every time. <laughs> oh fucking hell! That's stupid. Um, <laughs> oh dear. Well, commiserations, PTK. Yeah. Um, it's, congratulations, Corley. It's a good game, but fucking hell. Yeah, it's rough in it. It's always rough against dwarves. I thought you did a good job of like pushing and pulling him around on offense, and then that witch elf, if she'd got the pals, would have probably made a turn 16 score and a win, wouldn't it? Obviously, defense was great. Um, so yeah, a bit, bit. Of, I think the, I think the unluckiest thing out of everything, not well, it wasn't the one in nine, was the was the witch elf not getting the power on, on that blitz. I think if the witch gets the blitz on that power. Then yeah. it's a pretty safe turn sixteen stall. But then obviously making all making those three plus dodges through tackle <laughs> were pretty lucky as well, right? So Yeah, I did have about three turns in a row where I rolled a one on one of my first two pluses. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's gonna happen though, isn't it? That's that's the thing, like when you had that when you had the four rerolls, I thought, well he's gonna need them against uh, <laughs> he's gonna need them against dwarves with so Never few did. players. Like yeah. you, you didn't have the you didn't have the throwaway dodges that you could that you could afford to fail either, did you? Nope. Yeah, I know what you mean. It's so much worse when you fail the first one. It's like, oh, for God's sake, just give me a bit of leeway game. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, a lot. It's, uh, right, anyway, I better run, run, run. I, cannot, I cannot complain. I mean, 2 plus 2 plus to basically win the game. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And and only giving up at 50% with a reroll score. Yeah. Um, but fucking hell. Oh, well, <laughs> it is what it is. Yeah. Um, All right, uh, Jim. I have been told our next game, when it's up, is Wolf Bark uh, versus uh, the winner of Wolf Bark and Regger uh, versus Yak is our next game. Right. But I, I don't think they have finished yet. Right. Well, I'll wrap up the YouTube video. So thank you, uh, K Fog. Thank you, Skuro. Um, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.